I'm not very happy. You see, I lent my RS4 to somebody and they went and had a little accident in it. That's why this piece of trim is junk and I'm wearing the door. Hmm. So this is the guy that did the damage. His name's Sam and I work with him. So Sam, why don't you explain to everybody what you did? So you lent me the car because you're a nice guy. Um, I took it to a wedding, which was very far away. And then I got to my house and as I was pulling into the drive, scraped the entire side down a telephone pole. Now, you know the car has all round parking sensors, so not just the front and the back, mm. actually down the sides, mm. which is where you scraped it. And it's got a reversing camera. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I am sorry. <laughs> well, it will be, because <laughs> this has not got a little plan for you. So okay. I think Sam should have to do a forfeit for damaging my car. And I've got three options, and I want you to vote which one you think he should do. So these are the options that I've come okay. up with, Sam. The first one is that I'm going to smear your face in peanut butter, then let the video dog, Wilson, lick it off. So that's the first one. The second one is, I know you don't like spicy food, so I'm going to get one of the hottest chilies I can find and make you eat it raw with no water. Mm -hmm. The third one, final one, is that I reckon, you're a strong lad, I reckon that Sam should have to carry me wherever I want to go for a day. So if I need to go for a meeting, you've got to pick me up and take me to the meeting. If I need to go to the toilet, mm -hmm. unfortunately, I'll give you a call. You've got to pick me up and take me to the loo. Okay. 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 Right? I can be on hand. <laughs> okay. Right. So those are your choices. Now click on the pop-out banner in the top right-hand corner of the screen to cast your vote for the forfeit you want to see Sam do. Now to see which one he actually does, we're going to film it and we're going to put it on our Instagram channel, at CarWowCast. So go there now, sign up, and you'll see the forfeit you've chosen for Sam to do. Now, this isn't the first time I've had bad luck with a car. Someone jumped on the roof of my Porsche 911 two years ago. If I can get my hands round their throat. Luckily, I managed to find a company which could make my car light new again without replacing or filling any body panels. That company was the Dent Network in Peterborough. So when Sam damaged my car, I knew where to come. Now, today I'm here with Tony. How are you doing, Tony? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, well, I'm all right, apart from the damage to my RS4. What do you yeah. think about that? Yeah, there's a bit going on there. We've got something going on at the top here. We've got something a bit further down around here. And right on that curve at the bottom of the door where it meets the trim, you've got something there where all that transfer is. But I think we can get all that repaired. We'll just need to take the interior trim off, take the door off, get it on a panel nice and flat, and then we can get a good view of the panel and give it a good repair for you. And I should point out that there's a lot of damage down below on the plastic yeah, bit of trim there, that. but I've actually got a whole replacement piece for that, okay. so we don't have to worry about that at all. Okay. It's just the door I'm bothered about. Yep. You, you see, one of my problems with it is this is a beautiful car, and what I don't want is to take it to a body shop and get it filled. Of course. I want it to kind of look like new, like my Porsche roof was. Exactly. It's the same kind of principle. Yep. I want to keep it original. And yep. you, you reckon that's all doable? Yeah, we can fix all this, that's no problem. The, the trim panel at the bottom there will need to be replaced. So we can get that off for you, get the new one put on, and then we'll do this completely paintless. Okay. There'll be no painting on there whatsoever. So your car will stay original. And now in terms of price, how much is this going to cost? Well, we'd have to run that through the matrix. So we use some software, we'll measure the damage, we'll see what's involved with the strip and fit. We've got things like body lines to take into consideration. We'll check the material, it's steel or aluminium. That all helps decide the pricing. Then what's the difference between steel and aluminium? Because Audis do use quite a bit of aluminium, don't they, in their construction? They do. Down? Aluminium's harder to work. It normally gets harder as you work it, whereas steel wants to go back to where it was. Aluminium's a little bit harder to work. It takes a little bit more time. So steel's like got a memory, whereas aluminium hasn't? That's it, pretty much, yeah. So we're hoping this door is steel. Yes, yes, I think it is. And which of these dents here is the hardest one. Which one do you reckon is going to give you the most I trouble? I think it's going to be the one in this bottom corner where the transfer is. You're right on a seam here where the return is, where it goes back round the door. So we've got to lift it against that behind it and then dress it back and make it all nice and neat for you. These aren't too bad. They're in the open. It should be okay behind there. We can lift those nicely. Right, let's, let's get to it then. Okay, let's do it. First, Tony marked at the door and measured the dents to calculate the price. Turns out this job will cost £700. Then Tony and his assistant Reese set about getting the door ready for repair. So Tony, we've got the door off. Yep. You've got it on this rig here, which is where you're going to work on it. So you've got a bunch of tools under here. Can you tell me what you're going to use each of these tools for? So we've got some of these are main leverage bars here. These will go behind the panel and we can push behind the damage and ease it back 
to where it should be. It looks like an implement of torture, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. <laughs> so what else have we got? So that's for underneath. That's right. And then on, on top, we've got tap downs or knock downs with different um, changeable heads that we can use to tap on, on top of the damage to get it all blended out and leveled out. With a combination of the push-in and the tap-in, that's what brings the dent back. So basically, obviously the, the car was scuffed that way, so it pushed it in, but it also pushed bits high as well, did it? That's like right. almost like you would if you were pushing a, a rug. That's it, that's right, yeah. So you could, when we look at this damage here later on, you'll be able to see that it's got what we call a crown around the outside. So we'll have to use these knockdown tools to get that level again with a combination of pushing from underneath. What about this mark here? Well, the first thing we need to do here is get this cleaned off. Okay. So we're going to use some polish and get that removed to, so we can really see what's going on there. I'll tell you what, I, I'm going to help you out here because, okay. you know, I'm, I'm really skilled with a, a drill and a polishing head. So I'll do that, take care of that with my Demon Shine as well. I'll get this ready for you because this is the only bit of the car that I can actually help with, I think. There we are. I'll, <laughs> let, you, I'll let you get on with that then. Otherwise, I'll just end up putting dents into it no, that's right, <laughs> and I'll yeah. take all day. So I'll crack on with this then. I used the polisher to remove the transfer marks left in the pole that Sam had driven into. And then I gave the whole panel a quick wipe down. Right, I think that's my job here done. I'm going to go and get a cup of tea. Meanwhile, Tony got on with the real work. He started with the dent in the middle of the door, levering it from the inside to push it back flat, methodically kneading the metal back into shape. Then he tapped down all the raised areas on the outside to get the panel totally smooth. Next, it was time for the trickier dent, the one near the bottom edge of the door. This required some serious skill and a fine touch, but thankfully, I had the right man on the job. Tony, it looks like you've done it, and I, I really can't tell where the dents were. I know there was one here and there's one here, but when we got it under the light, we noticed there was more dentage up here. That's right, so we had, a, we had a couple of bits of damage here, which sort of led into this area, this main area, which we saw. And then all this body line here had quite a bit of damage. And we had this, obviously, this edge and oh, there's a little bit around the handle as well. And it's all gone. Can't tell it that there was ever an accident. So Sam, look, you've got away with it, mate. You've got away with it. And we haven't had to fill the door or anything like that. It's still all original, which I'm really pleased about. Was it difficult? It was quite a complex repair, but luckily it's Audi. So Audi's always nice steel. It's good quality. It wants to go back to where it was. So that always helps us. So what's a bad? kind of make to work with? You can't do that to I me. can't, come on. Why not? You want to know. Me. They're all you good. Know. They're all good to work on. We they're don't mind working on any vehicle. But you did say, you just said that Audi has good steel. Are there other manufacturers that don't have quite so good steel that's a bit harder there to work There are other on? manufacturers that have different steel that react in different ways. That might be a little bit thinner, not as much paint. And where would those, um, you said German cars are quite good. Are there any places that aren't so good? They might be further to the east. Okay, you're talking <laughs> Japanese or you Korean said Japanese, cars. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, I'm pleased with this. Thank God it's German steel, so it's all gone back as new, so we're going to get it put back on the car. With the door refitted, it was just a case of attaching the interior trim to it and then installing the new side skirt I had sourced direct from Audi. We've got the car all put back together now, and you can see it looks brand new. That, that's fantastic. I'm really pleased with the job you've done here, Tony. It's Good, I'm glad you're pleased. No one's going to know, are they? No. That's great. Got one more thing I'd like you to do. Okay. So you know my Porsche 911? Yep. That Kev fixed. Well, I've done a bit of damage to the bonnet, so I've brought it along, and I was hoping you'd have a little look at that as well. Okay, we can do that. Poor Tony. He clearly thought his work was done. Hopefully, there wouldn't be too many dents on my Porsche for him to fix. Tony, could you highlight all the dents on here. I can just see two. But you can probably see a lot more, can't you? Yeah, of course. <laughs> we've, we've got something going on there. We've got this here. That one's actually like sticking it, upwards, yeah. isn't they're, it? They're stick it out is, as we call them. We've got something there. We've got a couple there. So is that relatively easy to fix? It's fixable. You better get to it then. Yeah. <laughs> Thankfully, Tony was able to work with the bonnet still on the car, which helped save time and then he tapped the sticky outies back down before massaging the bonnet back into shape from the underside until it was as good as new. That is just so much better. I, re I really can't see where that damage was at all. I guess that's the idea though. Isn't it? That's the whole plan, yeah. <laughs> it is, it's really nice. Was it easy? It seemed easy. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. So we were just knocking down from the top really. Um, it took about 15 minutes 
in all. And even though this is an old car, was the metal relatively easy to work on like the Audis? Yeah, this was nice metal to work on. Well, seeing as you finish this so quickly, I've got just one more car. Okay. And what you're not going to be so keen on is the fact that the metal on it is going to be from the Far East because it's a Mazda. Okay, let's, let's have a look at it then. And there's quite a lot of dents on it. All right, okay. I quickly grabbed my poor old battered MX-5 and sped into the workshop before Tony could change his mind. Tony, my problem with this car is it's got this dent in the power dome on the bonnet. Yeah, can you see yeah. it? Yeah, I can see it. So when I'm driving, all I'm seeing, yeah. my OCD is just picking it up the whole time. I'm just seeing this dent in, in there on the bonnet the whole time, wherever I drive, and it's just doing my head in. Yeah, we can get rid of that for you. Do you reckon it'll be harder than the Porsche, though? Uh, Maybe. Uh, I think it's a slightly thinner gauge, a little bit more work, but it's still doable. Tony worked on the MX-5's bonnet to remove the big dent, while Reese set about getting rid of the numerous other dents all over its body. Tony, you've done it.